continuing our conversation with Bobby Stim just about how these funding cuts to ODOT to our transportation system here will affect our roads and bridges. We had a few people write in, so okay. let's get to this first viewer question. Mike wrote in and said, won't this mean more expensive construction projects in the future if we just quit work now? Absolutely. Anything you do in the future is going to be more expensive than it is right now, especially if you, if you have to remobilize. So part of what a contractor gets paid for is called mobilization costs. We're going to pay you to take your crew and your equipment from point A to point B. What does that price tag look like? You know, I don't know. It varies. Sometimes in the tens of thousands, sometimes much more. Wow. It all depends on the size of the project. Sure. But if you have to remobilize, unmobilize, whatever the case is, a delay is a waste of money. There's no doubt about it. Okay. A uh, second question is from Joyce Taylor. She wrote in and she said, if you stop fixing the roads, who's going to fix my car? I think a lot of people, and she's not the only one, by the way, that I heard that same question from. A lot of right. people want to know, how are we going to drive over these bridges and roads when they're just, work is stopped? Well, not only that, they're going to continue to deteriorate. If you think about it, the, these roads were, some, many of these roads are built 30, 40, 50 years ago, some of our bridges as well. If we don't maintain them, they will continue to crumble. You're going to pay for it one way or the other. You're either going to pay for it with the taxes or you're going to pay for it by simply heading to the, you know, see an auto mechanic and getting your, strokes, your stretch and shocks uh, repaired. Okay, and then the last question is, this is from Mark Wedge. He wrote in, he said, we depend on our roads, bridges, infrastructure for all of our transportation needs. Is there any solution to the funding that is being discussed? You know, I think there is. We've got to prioritize. Now, I will tell you this. ODOT, the Department of Transportation, has downsized 40% in the last several decades. So they're doing a lot more with less. We're not even 5% of the budget. We've got a $16 billion budget. We received several hundred million dollars out of that. I think our state lawmakers have to prioritize, decide where there's waste, anywhere there's waste, cut that waste, and I think they might be able to spread it around. Bottom line is, is they've got to fund it. And in all of your years, I think you were telling me you've been with the, the Contractors Association for 10 years now. Right. Uh -huh. Have you ever seen this this bad? I haven't. I think today's a critical day because when the commission comes down and says, we are not going to begin jobs, and we are going to stop maybe some big ones right now. They, they call it suspension. If we have to suspend jobs, I've never seen anything like that, and it's serious. Mm -hmm. it and, you know, meeting at 11 o'clock today, what do you hope to hear out of that meeting? What I hope And what to can hear. people expect? Sure, you know? sure. What I hope to hear is that while you and I sat here visiting, somebody somewhere at the legislature was coming up with an agreement or an idea that maybe we could keep funding roads and bridges. What I expect to hear is that didn't happen this morning and that we're going to have to make some drastic cuts. Now, there is a chance for the legislature. We have four more weeks. They can do some things that put us back on track to fixing Oklahoma's roads and bridges. I have no idea what they're going to do yet, though. Okay, well, we will have our crews there at that meeting along with you. So, uh, so we'll follow that story very closely. Bobby Stem, pleasure to meet you, and you thank too. you for stopping by. You too.